Welcome back to Tesla Red. For those of you who have followed me on X, you've probably seen posts like this one, um, where I'm earning money charging the car or just for general energy use. Quite often get a lot of questions about it and how it all works. So I figured I'd do a quick video just to run through all the ins and outs, how it works, how you set it up, um, what are the benefits, what are the, what are the drawbacks, etc., etc. So uh, if you're interested in, in making money from using power, then uh, definitely stay tuned. Now to achieve this, I'm using a company called Amber Electric. They're a provider in Australia that provides wholesale pricing to customers. And I'll show you how all this works. It gets a little bit complicated, um, but it's actually very easy to set up once you've got to understand it all. So when you sign up with Amber, you get an app for your phone, which will uh, allow you to do everything you need to do to control your power usage um, and automate the whole process. The first screen we see here is the pricing. Amber uses a wholesale pricing, so it's every 30 minutes there's a uh, forecast pricing um, and you can see the current pricing on the main screen there as well. So you can scroll backwards and forwards through the day and see what's going to happen with power, uh, making decisions you need to make as far as power usage and that kind of thing as a, as a result. Um, certainly many sunny days you'll get negative prices through the day so that's a good time to charge a car up. Um, sometimes there'll be predictions of major spikes later on which we'll cover later. So your setting screen's got a few different options here, um, set notifications, um, email, SMS, etc, etc. But the real important screen is this one here to set up. Um, you've got the option to set up automation in general. Um, so you can have it totally manual if you want it that way, or you can have some AI smarts automating the process for you. So you select that on. There's two other options for the different algorithms. Um, one being a earnings optimizer, which will take most advantage of any price spikes, dips, etc., um, and charge your battery, battery proactively and discharge proactively um, to take advantage. So the other option here is the battery booster. Now, uh, I don't use this one, so I can't comment too much, but my understanding is it's a less aggressive algorithm. Um, it won't cycle your battery as often. Um, it will try and keep more battery charge um, and, and less chasing of profits. So in addition to your automation screen, you've got the screen here which shows you what's going on, uh, how much, how much uh, green energy is in the grid, current buy price, you can switch it to sell price as well, current battery level, and what's happening in your network. Now today I've been charging up my car, um, so it's gone, it's, it's almost at a full charge now. Um, so it has cost me a little bit, um, but I'll export tonight to uh, make, up, make that up. Um, and it hasn't been a lot of, uh, a lot of solar, unfortunately. If we switch over to the plan page, this is where you can see what the automation is planning to do and what steps you want to potentially take. So at the moment, we're in self-consume mode. It's planning to do some charging between 1230 and 1300 and the price is low. And it's down almost zero there. And then it's got a plan in dis dispatch at uh, 1700, sorry, 19, 1900 when it's uh, prices are higher. Now, in addition to that, I can go ahead and make my own choices, even though I've got the uh, the smart shift active. So even though the algorithm's running, I can override it at any time um, and and make my own decisions. So if I click on Control My Battery. There's a few shortcuts here. So I can charge for 30 minutes, dispatch for 30 minutes, preserve the battery energy for two hours. Um, that these are the shortcut time, time periods. Preserve will just hold whatever's in the battery now and any excess uh, power you need other than indirect generating via solar will come in via the, the um, network and consume battery energy will stop it from importing any energy and only use what's in the battery and, and your solar. So with all those, you've got those default times, but you can also click on them and set your own time as well. So here for a charge, I can go 60, 90, 120, hit start charge and that, that will uh, start the battery charging. 
So you've got, always got full control, um, which is really great. It, it doesn't. There's nothing that sort of you can't override. Um, you can be as as involved as you want, and as uninvolved as you want. It's up to you. Now, a question I do get occasionally is: Will this cause my battery harm? Will it cause degradation, um, etc.? You are cycling the battery slightly more than you are in normal use. Now, I'll say first up that I'm not a battery expert. Um, I've spoken to a number of number of battery experts, and I've also spoken with people who have used this system for a lot longer than I have. Um, and so far, none of them have indicated any issues at all. The way it's been explained to me is that if you compare it to an EV, you, if you're charging at a supercharger, you're charging it up to 250 kilowatts per hour, which is putting a, a fair load on the battery, and, and they handle that fine. With a home battery, the uh, maximum per battery, I believe, is 5 kilowatts. So we've got two, so my maximum input input output is 10 kilowatts per hour. So your battery load is not that great. And at worst, I would cycle my batteries once a day. Um, sometimes, you know, 0.8 of a cycle uh, and, and sometimes even less than that. So, you know, I don't see any real risk in it. Um, the benefits are certainly uh, very great and, and allow you to pay off your batteries very quickly compared to any other options. So for me, the trade-off's worth it. Uh, for you, um, this isn't financial advice. It's, it's up to you to, to do your own research, but that's how I've seen it, and that's why I've been able to generate so much profit out of the electricity um, usage I've had so far. What I can certainly say is I've been using this system almost six months now. Um, I certainly haven't seen any, any degradation at all on my batteries. Um, but like I say, your mileage may vary, your risk tolerance may vary. Um, definitely worth talking to a battery expert if you're uh, concerned. Okay, so getting back to the app, we'll go back to the main screen and have a look at the, uh, the current prices and how this all works. So as you can see currently, uh, we're sitting on eight cents per kilowatt for input prices, and we've got a two cent per kilowatt hour output price. We can go down to the bottom of the screen and we can scroll backwards and forwards and look at the, the projected prices per half hour block for the rest of the day. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty boring day. We've had a lot of uh, overcast days this month and um, the prices are pretty stagnant. So looking towards the end of the day, you can see the, the, the export prices start to increase a little bit as we get towards the evening. Um, as you can see, we've got a slightly higher, about 18 cent per kilowatt hour um, towards this evening, um, which is decent prices. It's better than you'll get it on any retail plan, but it's nothing uh, to get too excited. So how does this all work? Currently, with all the solar power out there, especially with most of them not having batteries, during the day, you get quite a lot of excess power in the grid, especially when you've got sunny days and a number in a row. So the result is that the, the electricity network is now overborn with energy. They can't use all this energy. They have to do something with it. it. It has to go somewhere. So this is where the wholesale prices go into the negative. So any energy intensive applications, any businesses that um, have access to those prices can be given a incentive to use more power because the grid needs it to stabilize. So this is where we come in as, as Amber customers we're able to take advantage of these prices and use that power up and help stabilize the grid. Now, generally during the day, um, you're unlikely to see more than minus six cents per kilowatt hour, at least where I am. It does vary from state to state, um, but you do occasionally get some, uh, some very big price spikes. So here's an example of one of those. This one's in the evening. Um, it does happen from time to time. Um, as if you haven't already picked up, I'm not an expert in uh, in energy um, or electricity grids, but um, I'm hoping someone out there might be able to provide more details in the comments. You can see here, so it's at 7 p.m. We're getting minus 84 cents per kilowatt hour for our usage prices. Fantastic time to charge the car up. Um, and actually, in this instance, if you look down the bottom there, so it's at uh, 6.30 p.m., we were having a price spike where we were getting paid $2.76 to export power. 
So I was able to discharge the batteries during that period um, and then recharge them again and have full batteries um, for the evening. So yeah, some, some really great opportunities like that when the, when the grid starts getting uh, a little bit uh, crazy. And here's another one where we're getting uh, significant export prices. So the $6.29 per kilowatt hour, I've seen up to $18 per kilowatt hour. Um, we can switch to another screenshot of that. So you can see here there's a, there's a quite a long period where we're getting between uh, $17, $14 and $18 per hour um, per kilowatt hour. So uh, that particular night was uh, was only very recently um, and was a record. I think I earned one hundred and thirty dollars just just that night in, a, in an hour or so exporting power. So yes, the the the, um, the payoffs are quite good. I haven't had to pay a single bill since I joined Amber, and I'm earning between forty and a hundred dollars per month. So uh, it's it's definitely worth it in my book. So coming back to the app. We can see that the prices have changed a little bit since we were here last. Um, we're, at, we're now at nine cents per kilowatt hour, but you can see during the lunchtime period we've actually got um, some decent pricing coming in as the sun comes out a little bit more. Um, it's not quite the negatives yet, but it's getting down there. Um, now, like I say, you don't need to monitor this app. You can let the, the algorithm do it all by itself. I like to get in there a bit more and, um, and try and take better advantage of some pricing. Um, it probably doesn't make that much difference, but it's just uh, the way I do things. Um, you certainly don't have to be that involved. I'll also say that um, you know your usage pricing, usage costs will vary. Um, you know the daily. So at the moment, where last thirty days is one hundred sixty three dollars um, in profit. Um, certainly. You know, yesterday was a pretty ordinary day, only, only made 58 cents. Um, we can sort of go through, you know, like I said, most, most days uh, have been very overcast, so we haven't had great, um, great profits. There was a good one there, $110. And I get kind of one of those every month, um, the, up on the $80 to $100 mark, um, a couple of $20 ones here and there. Um, it all kind of well, that evens out, so three dollars, two dollars. Yeah, you get the picture. It's not always going to be, um, you know, really exciting days where you're getting uh, eighteen dollars per kilowatt hour. But um, there's enough of them that uh, it certainly means you're not paying any 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 uh, power bills. Now, if all this sounds good, um, you want to try it out, please uh, use my referral code. It'll give you thirty dollars sign up bonus, um, and also gives me a little gives me a, a thirty dollar bonus as well. Um, which will help uh, make this channel better. But uh, look, it's, it's, I'll have the, uh, the full link in the description. Um, and if you want to try it out, there's no contracts. You can get out anytime you want. So there's nothing locking you in. Um, but uh, I've, I've certainly found it worthwhile and I hope you do too. Well, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, really appreciate it. Please leave some comments. Let us know what you think about uh, the, whole, the whole process. Any questions in the, in the comments section. Um, I really, really would, would appreciate if you share the video. I'm trying to build this channel up. It's still a very new channel. Um, and I'm still obviously running on a, on a bare bones budget. So I just want to try and uh, start building things up. So please share. Please hit that like. Please give us a subscribe. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing you again soon. Thank you.